Hi, I'm Tim. On behalf of the entire Apollo family, we are super excited you've chosen us for your next RV experience. I'm about to share with you all the tips and tricks on operating your RV. So your two best friends on your travels will be your Apollo Connect app and the how-to guide. With the Apollo Connect app, you can find local points of interest, get prepared for your road trip with our safe drive and how-to videos, and with our friends at Camp Stay, find and book campgrounds and holiday parks. Your second best friend will be the how-to guide. The how-to guide contains all the relevant instructions on the features of your chosen RV. First of all, we'll quickly run through the symbols used throughout the how-to guide. No driving during procedure. This symbol means this procedure cannot be completed whilst the vehicle is in motion. Requires electricity. This symbol indicates this procedure is only available when your vehicle is connected to mains power. Requires gas. This symbol indicates that this procedure functions with the LPG gas. Requires battery. This symbol indicates that the 12 volt battery system is required for the operation. Your Endeavour comes with a bunch of keys. A remote key, bed key where applicable, gas key, and lastly the fresh water key. So with your keys, just make sure you don't separate the keys don't leave the key in the ignition and have the keys on you at all times. The Endeavour can be connected to 240 volt mains power and you can connect it right here. First you'll need the lead and first thing you'll notice is that it's got a large earth pin. That means it's rated at 15 amps. You can't plug this into normal power points. All paid campgrounds will have 15 amp outlets with the large earth pin. Insert the lead into the outlet, making sure you've got a really good connection with the large earth pin. Insert the lead into the campsite and turn on. Make sure the circuit breaker is in the on position. Turn off all appliances prior to disconnecting from the power inlet. Disconnect and store the lead before moving your RV. Your Endeavour has a fresh water tank that supplies water to the tap at the sink. We recommend you don't drink this water. So when your freshwater tank is empty, it's time to refill it and you'll do it right here. You'll need your hose and the water key. Make sure the hose is inserted as far as possible and don't let go of it while refilling. Connect the hose to the tap using the adapter provided. Once the tank is full, disconnect the hose, remembering to take the adapter with you. Make sure the main switch is on and just turn the water pump on to get the water flowing. The Endeavour comes with one gas bottle and it's kept in the outside storage at the rear here. The only thing that uses the LPG is the stove. The vehicle needs to be level for the LPG system to work. When you require LPG, turn on the valve all the way. Remember to close the valve when departing. Your lights will work off the 12 volt system. Just remember to turn them off if you're not using them as they will drain the battery, unless you're connected to mains power. Simply switch on at the main control panel. You'll need to turn on the main switch and then the light switch. The power points allow you to use your 240 volt appliances. These only work when you're connected to mains power at a campground. The microwave is only going to work when you're connected to mains power at a campsite. Before travelling, we recommend you grab the plate out and stow it away to avoid damage. Alright, when you're ready to cook, the Endeavour comes with a two burner gas stove. To use the gas burners, just push and rotate the dial and hold. Press the ignite switch until the gas lights. Continue to hold the dial to ensure the gas stays lit and then adjust to the desired temperature. After you've finished cooking, just make sure you allow plenty of time for the whole stove to cool before you lower the lid. The fridge operates on the 12 volt system and the 240 volt mains power when connected at a campground. When driving, your fridge will work off the engine battery. Simply switch on at the main control panel and set to the desired temperature. 
we recommend you set the fridge to four. All right, time for bed. I'm gonna show you how to put the bottom bed together. It's quite simple, really. Some of the beds will be operated with a key and a latch. Others will be unlocked with a pair of levers. This one has a lock, so I'm gonna undo it with the key. Pull the bed boards towards you until it rests on the seats. Add the extra piece of bed board on the seats and we'll arrange the cushions to form the mattress. Making the top bed could not be easier. Simply pull the bed boards towards you and lay them flat. Unfold the cushions and arrange to form your mattress. All right guys, that's it from me. Don't forget, your two best friends are gonna be your how-to guide and the Apollo Connect app. We wish you all the best on your trip and we'll see you next time.